So in the last episode, we fought Beta Rockwell, we defeated his ass, and we... It's not really Ascension, we, we did that, whatever that would be on this map. Um, we defeated the map, but we're still here. Uh, we do have some extra levels right now, and I've already actually leveled up to the max level that I am at currently. I can get two more levels by leveling this chibi, but that's gonna take a long ass time to do. Um, the way that I was able to level up so quick before I get tons and tons of comments is I basically just kept my chat domains on breeding, and then I just killed the babies under some, uh, Broth of Enlightenment. Yeah, it was, a. Uh, it was a good time. It definitely was a good time. But now we are up to pretty much max level. And here are the Engrams that we can use up to the pistol. Um, obviously, we don't actually need to be at this level to use this. But if I wanted to craft another, I could obviously try to get up to 120. We're probably not going to really focus on that because we already have use of these uh, dolphin saddles. But um, right here, here is the trophy that we kind of somewhat got from the boss fight. This is the beta trophy in here. I don't know. I didn't actually realize that there's different ones, and I don't know if it, if there is any like actual difference in it. But um, as you guys realize, oh, what the hell? Uh, if you may realize from the last episode, um, we technically should have gotten this, or maybe we did, but my body disappeared as soon as I finished that boss fight. Apparently that happens right now. Make sure that you chuck all your stuff into a creature before you finish it. Um, because otherwise you're gonna lose all your great gear, but, uh, luckily enough, I knew that heading in, um, but we unfortunately did not get to keep this or the flag, so yeah, this, uh, this trophy's so cool looking. I like this weird, like, neck flap down here. It's, it's kind of weird looking the way it sticks out so far, but we got this weird face here with all the eyes and the teeth, and we got another little face in here. Like, this is so cool looking, but it's also really horrifying. Then we have the flag, which is pretty much a mirror to this. I mean, it's the exact same, obviously, but um, still super horrifying. And it is definitely one of my favorite looking flags so far. Um, all right, so let's go over what we actually have to check out here today. First of all, have we crafted all the element? Oh my God, yes, we have. That is so much element. I basically chucked all my shards in here like two minutes before starting this recording. And um, we were able to craft up like pretty much this was in here as well and i pulled it a little bit out so pretty much just over 800 element there that's incredible let's just grab 100 because we can this is ridiculous we have so much of this stuff element on this map is ridiculously easy to get and i kind of like it actually all right so here's what we're gonna do here today we have so many things to check out now that we're up to that level i can finally check out some of these tech weapons so we're totally gonna be doing that and i just realized I turned all of my shards into element. Now we need to turn some element into shards because I don't have any. So let's go ahead and just do that. Um, that's probably good for the moment. All right, let's go ahead and grab a thousand of these because you need those for this bow right here. Um, all right, so first of all, guys, go ahead. Do me a favor. Hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. And uh, one more thing I just want to I wanna mention. Um, are you subscribed to this channel? No? How about now? Huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. You don't want to be killed or stunned or healed. I don't know why I would heal you, but yeah, <laughs> go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Oh, man. All right. So, um, yeah, we have so many things to check out. First things first, though, um, we have the original normal like tech suit. Uh, we already actually had a pair of gloves that we got from one of the missions. I apparently have gotten so many pairs of gloves, but nothing else, just gloves. So that's cool. Uh, I had to craft all the rest, which is fine. So let's go ahead and pop on this armor. And let me show you something really interesting. So first of all, check out this armor. I mean, like, which do you prefer? The newer armor or the older armor? I really just love the new one. I mean, I like this. It looks cool. Don't get me wrong. I've always liked the tech armor in Ark, but the newer armor is just so much nicer looking. Here's the helmet. And there we go. Sweet. You can actually see it. it's like kind of like weird and rusty around the area. I don't really, I don't really like that. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and check out one of the amazing features that the new tech suit on here has. Now, you may have heard me mention this before, but this is armor, but it's also a skin. So you can put this over a normal tech suit and it's essentially going to allow you to have the armor values of that tech suit, but it's going to make it completely free to use 
and obviously way more stylish. I mean, this looks amazing. I, I really just much prefer this to the older one. I don't know. I feel like maybe most people do too, but I definitely can see why maybe some people would like the old one, but I just, this one's just so cool. I love it so much. But anyway, yeah, there you go. And now I can use this tech suit for free because technically I'm using the skin, but we just also have an armor set underneath that all of that as well. Um, it will get damaged and it will break eventually. Um, I'm not sure what happens when it breaks though. Does it take the skin off too or does that stay? Hmm, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, yeah, that's a really cool function. I like that. Now, uh, what else do we have? We have the tech canteen, probably one of the coolest things to come out of this DLC. Like I'm, I'm not even joking. That may sound like a joke, but I'm not joking. I am so happy that they included something like this, okay? The canteen can hold three drinks. That's great. It's so much better than the water jar and that's so much better than the water skin. But I feel like it was about time that they finally added in something that's like next gen for water storage and consumption. There we go. So that's what happens when you uh, when you drink it. So currently I have it on the cold mode. I'll show you how to switch it to the hot mode in a second. So that's the buff that we get. Uh, it's basically going to cool you down. And then it also uh, has a stamina reduction thingy as well, which is really interesting. Um, and then if we want to switch it to hot, all we got to do is come to mode and then switch it to the hot Let's go ahead and drink that. Boom. I think, did it completely empty itself? I feel like it might have emptied itself. So we have freeze immunity right now, which is cool. So if you're fighting like manas and stuff, obviously that's going to be great. But also it will heat you up if you're cold. So I think we had a snowflake there a second ago and then that went away. What happens when you switch it? Does it, uh, oh yeah, it empties completely. Huh, okay, okay. Good to know. Yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. Mm, or does it? I don't really know. Anyway, yeah, so that is the tech canteen. Very nice. Um, what else do we have? Well, we have the tech bow that we got at one stage in the series. We now can use a tech rifle. We got this, I think, in a mission, maybe? Oh, wait, no, we couldn't have, because if we got it in a mission, it would be non-grindable. I'm not sure where we got that, but we have that. And then we also have the tech pistol. So I don't really know what to check out first. There's just so many things right now. We also have the mech, which I definitely want to be checking out. So first of all, let's go ahead and stun this horse. Pew! All right, let's see. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, no, he's running. Ooh, okay. He is running all over the place. Hey, buddy. It's kind of hard to stun things yourself. Okay, hang on. Oh, crap. I hit the stego. No! I don't want to hit the stego. Come on. Oh, my God. This horse is way too quick. I should have hit something else. Uh, I should have hit the stego initially. Let's go ahead and try and take this thing down. Let's stun it first, of course. Ooh, okay. We're okay. And boom. There we go. It's stunned. Now, the stun doesn't usually last that long. But we can go ahead and start killing it now. This should ramp up to just incredible damage. As you can see, the little damage thingy is going up. We're doing way more damage. Bear in mind, this is a stego, and that was a 180. Wow. <laughs> it's okay. I wouldn't have tamed it anyway, but yeah, that's kind of funny that we randomly just kill a 180. Amazing. I love it. So yeah, using this on, um, on a big creature would be probably a better idea, but I don't really see anything big around here. Definitely need to try that. I guess we could use it on the Diplo. What level are you though, buddy? Level 30. Ah, uh, this thing's gonna die so quick. We'll just use it a little bit. But as you can see, we're already doing just ridiculous damage. This thing will die in a second here and bye. We didn't even ramp up to the max damage, which I think is like 20 times. So yeah, that's ridiculous. Let's get up here. So that is the stun and the kill mode. Uh, what level Bronto is this? Can we check you? Boom, level 60. Uh, you're probably going to die quick, but whatever. We'll hit you anyway. And come on, buddy. We're at two times damage, three times damage. Come on. There we go. Yeah, that thing died pretty quick anyway. So, yeah, the, the tech pistol is honestly ridiculous. Um, I think they nerfed it so it does not work on bosses anymore because that would be insane. It might still work on bosses, though. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. So that's the tech pistol. We can also heal things as well, which is great. Uh, can we not? I don't think we can heal wild creatures, though, can we? I don't think so. Don't think it allows you to. Now, I know they're not hurt. Oh, my God, that's a cool-looking freaking Maywing. Goddamn, look at you. All right, let me try and stun something, then. Um, we just have Maywings. Let's stun this one. Yeah, that's probably not going to stun on time. Yeah, it's already gone. Bye. All right, never mind. Uh, I guess we could try and stun the trike. Maybe we could do this before it gets to me. Okay, we're okay and boom and then let's see can i heal you that did some damage to you right that did a little bit we cannot heal wild creatures with it 
but we can heal allied or uh or you know like our own creatures let's see allied or friendly creatures all right let's go back to our base we might have some creatures out up here oh you know what we have our uh, our strider right here hello so we can see its health bar right there and if it was hurt i could go ahead and just start piling in all this healing which is awesome i gotta say i really like the tech pistol the tech phase pistol technically um what level are you uh level 66 you pretty much have the same health as the other one that we were fighting all right probably not worth hitting you with that but instead let's hit you with this on instant hit mode boom oh that is a good amount of damage damn really that is pretty insane actually it's not absolutely op in terms of damage but um that's still pretty good like we got to bear in mind that you know long necks can do pretty much around that the same amount of damage but you can't hit that quick in a row so that's ridiculous um to turn on instant hit mode or projectile mode switch between them you just hit n i'm not sure what it is on console to be honest so let's switch to explosive mode and i think we're on projectiles right now let's switch that up boom all right some pretty decent damage there quite good but obviously the the metal arrow substitute is going to be a lot better so you want to be using that one uh but we can also what are we on now flame arrow oh that travels so slow that is a weird traveling wait did i even switch i did not okay i think i might have turned off a different one. Oh yeah okay let's switch to flame arrow there we go i thought i switched to it my bad boom yeah that's uh that's pretty good yeah I don't know i mean i never really use flame arrows anyway but i'll probably end up just mostly sticking to this one and then obviously tranking things out will be so much easier now because we're gonna have just a pretty much like a tech tier tranking weapon which i really like i like that a lot let's uh let's try and find something to trank a little bit with it maybe something slow i don't believe i have my net gun on me so i can't really do that um you know what i guess we could start tranking this dude right here let's see so i've actually ran out of uh let's see oh wow that went down quick no way we are like we drained ourselves of all those shards already that's insane it costs a lot of shards to use this thing um i guess it makes sense though all right let's uh let's try and try and get this dude see how quick we can do it oh my are you kidding me dude that is so quick oh <gasps> i have not used this for that just yet and that is incredible and we're already out of shards let's go back to base um that is incredible no way oh okay tech bow yeah no i like it i like it a lot actually that's that's awesome all right let's go ahead and start crafting just tons and tons of shards just to have them they're actually quite heavy so carry them carrying them around would be a little bit uh tricky but i mean like it's totally worth it though like we did so much torpor there and it's instant hit torpor as well isn't it it doesn't oh it went up from 5,000 8,000 so it does it does keep going up after a bit I guess the proper test would be to go ahead and hit it and then leave it like hit it once you know and then leave it after that but like look at this it just it costs element of course it's costing 20 element shards per hit here but still pretty good I mean like this could be my Bronto but I, I don't really want it um it does do a decent amount of damage though per hit but I guess that your rifle would probably do that much damage anyway so yeah um all right let's can we heal it now that it's knocked out probably not right yeah i don't think that's gonna do anything for us no that's not healing but let's go ahead and see how how much damage we can get with this let's try and get it up to the 20 times i think it's like 20 times right all right let's see is it gonna go up oh my god 700 per tick no way it just shoots straight up from like five to like freaking 20 or something that's ridiculous no way this these weapons are amazing now i know most people probably have already had weeks and well, pretty much like a month and a half almost of like using these things but i have not got to use them properly in survival mode and these are really good ones as well so yeah i uh i love them i really do um unfortunately when the dlc first came out i wasn't lucky enough to get a tech bow or a tech pistol in a drop because i do believe at the very start you were able to actually quickly just uh use them you didn't need the engram or anything so let's see how much does it cost per arrow okay so for these ones it's five shards per arrow and then for explosive it's 80 no way i mean that makes sense but like that's a lot 
20 per trank. Yeah, no wonder I ran out of all those shards so quick. That's ridiculous. So wait, how much was it for flame? 10, okay. I mean, that, yeah, you know what? Like, it all makes sense, but I'm just very surprised that it costs 80. And it shows you how many you'll be able to shoot as well. Uh, so 334 is the amount that I can shoot with my current amount of shards. If I get more, I can shoot more. But with this, we could only shoot 20, 83. Yeah, okay. Well, it's actually kind of handy that it actually shows you how many you'll be able to shoot. But yeah, no, that is pretty insane. Does it cost any extra or any less if you have? I don't think so. So projectile mode and uh, instant hit mode don't seem to have a difference. So that's interesting. All right, let's move on because we already know what a tech rifle's like. I mean, maybe I guess I can check it out and see how much damage we do with it real quick. If we have anything over here to check it out with. Do we have anything at all? We got a stego, but you know, stegos aren't a great indicator because they have reduced damage. We do have a gas bags though. Pew. Oh, I completely missed. I forgot how, how slow they travel. Uh, oh, wait, no, you have reduced damage as well. Never mind. Okay, hang on. We got a power sword. I got a power sword. Let's go ahead and hit this. Or the rhino. Rhino's probably easier to hit. Boom. Um, yeah, okay. That's some decent damage, actually. 192. Not bad. Not bad. Definitely not as powerful as using some of these other weapons nowadays. I mean, like, this is ridiculous. The fact that you're just able to laser beam, like literally laser beam creatures like that is ridiculous, but I, I do love it. All right, let's go ahead and stun this gas bags. The stun really doesn't last as long as I would hope that it would. Like it definitely would be kind of nicer if it lasted a little bit longer. Boom, there you go. So now this dude's stunned. I can't tell for how long right now, but it's probably like five or 10 seconds or something. It's kind of like a Microraptor. Oh, that was probably only like five seconds. Wow, okay. That's not as good as it could be, but I guess it makes sense because yeah, you could just constantly be stunning people and their dinos and stuff. All right. Anyway, let's uh, let's see what else do we have. We have the the thingy there, the hover sail. But we'll check that out after we check out the mech. I definitely want to be checking out this mech next. So here we go. Uh, boom. Oh, there you are, buddy. Look at you in all of your glory. So this is the exo mech. Now this is gonna be really interesting. Um, first of all, we've got a couple different modes. We've got combat mode, we got carry mode, and then we've got storage mode. Storage mode, oh, that's gonna be really interesting. So you can basically pick up structures. You basically like zip them up like that. Um, you pretty much just like look at something and then do that. And now I don't know if the pickup or if the carry mode works with S plus stuff. Is this S plus? I don't know if this trough is S plus. I think it might be. Is that trough S plus? That, no, though, that is an S plus one. Okay. Wow, all right. I did not expect that. What else can I pick up from S plus? Can I pick up my replicator? Is that a thing? Can I actually do this? Oh, <gasps> what the hell? By the way, in case you're wondering, it's small because uh, S plus settings. I made it small. Um, oh, okay. There we go. It's kind of it's kind of a little bit glitchy. Oh, no. <laughs> what did I do? Okay, I did it. Sweet. All right, so we moved that. And the best part is it moves the inventory as well. So... Oh, that is, is so good. That is honestly so good. It, I don't think it actually makes a difference on the inventory of this dude, does it? Well, we have 20,000. So I think if you picked up a really heavy vault or box, you'd probably be okay. That's insane. The only thing that it does is it turns off the structure. So that kind of makes sense. But at the same time, like, goddamn, I mean, this is ridiculous. Look at this. So handy. So you can organize your base if you want to. Oh, you know what? We place it like directly below us apparently. So that's cool. Boom. So you can like move things around. Can I move structures like, you know, ceilings and stuff? Don't think you can. I think it only works on like snapped structures or something. Can I move this? What on earth? I can move it. Oh my God. I did not expect that. All right. That makes it so much easier. Because then, you know, like I, if I can pick that up, there's no issue with me picking that structure up. But if I pick it up, then the inventory is going to be on the ground. I'm going to have to move it. And with this particular thing, the eggs don't go back inside of it. So that's insane. I love that. I love that a lot. That is... Ah! <laughs> God, that is awesome. I love that so much. That is amazing, though. Like, I'm, I'm just really happy with that. Okay, so shut up if I'm simping over it too much. Uh, it, al it can also jump, which is amazing. Can I jump with these structures, though? I'm actually... I can't remember. Um, it jumps very high and very fast. That's kind of hard to control. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Now I'm going to be down here. Oh, now maybe down here? Okay. We're going to just be all the way down here. Amazing. 
I love the Iron Man landing, actually. Let's see. Let's see. We want to... Yeah, we can kind of, like, aim it a little bit. We can kind of aim to try and get up there. I guess I should have been a little bit smarter where I was jumping. Boom. Is that going to get us all the way up? Probably not. Close enough, though. All right. Yeah, I love that landing. That is awesome. Um. Okay, let's see. What else can we do? Well, first of all, let's gamma to three. There we go. And then let's just uh, let's just do like a small little jump right there. Yeah, there we go. It's very accurate with the jumps, actually. Nice. I like that a lot. All right. So, um, I mean, I kind of I kind of want to see what would happen. Can I like pick things up, like carry things and then jump with them? All right, let me see. Let me just try and jump like right over there. Look at this. Like what? <laughs> you could just pick up like your base and then just like, oh, what the? What the hell happened? What did I do? Oh, it's like folded up completely. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Oh my god. It, look at that thing, though. It looks so cool. I love it. All right. Well, you know what? While it's there, I know I don't have to have it specifically like sleeping or whatever. Can you make it do that? Because that looks amazing. I like the way it's just like chilling there. All right. I hope that you can do that with some sort of button. Um, let me go ahead and paint this thing. <laughs> We gotta paint it. We gotta paint it up. I was almost kind of thinking of painting it like a uh, freaking yellow, trying to like, you know, replicate the the um, <laughs> the little like exosuit things from Alien, but probably not. Uh, there we go. Let's do cyan for that. What do we got for this region? What is this region? I'm not sure what this region is specifically. Um, I don't really like this interface. I never have. Let's go ahead and paint that one, Cyan. We'll paint the other ones black, maybe? Yeah. Paint this one black. And then, I don't know. Oh, that one's like the kneecaps, I suppose. Or is it? All right, whatever. Well, anyway, we painted it. That looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and gamma up again. Um, and I guess let's just drop some element in. There you go, buddy. Oh, yeah, you had my trough. Oh, you still have it. Oh, that's good. It's good that it doesn't, like, break them or something. All right, so let's go ahead and place this thing back down. Um... I guess I need to keep some element in here if I'm going to be moving stuff around. I never noticed that down there. So there we go. Let's go ahead and place that down. Amazing. So that's only like a little bit of this. This thing's also a pretty much like an RTS mode creature. So you can like grab your creatures and like, you know, move them and have them attack other things. So it's pretty much like a command center creature. You've got a decent range on this too. I wonder if this could be abused for PvP purposes by like, you know kind of like moving your uh your little camera through structures i doubt that can happen but it might be possible hmm all right well you know what i think we need some creatures then so let's go ahead and pull out some of our dudes um let's pull out simba uh where are you there you are simba can we just throw you from here no we can't all right let's go ahead and just do this oh i really need to see if you can if you can fold this thing up how do you do that enable auto repair Okay, that's not going to do that. Hmm. Is there like a way of folding this thing up? Control? No? I don't know how to do that. Maybe it's not possible. I really hope it is because that would be amazing. All right, well, let's uh, let's go into RTS mode and then we're going to select... Uh, we're going to select Simba and we're going to go over here. Uh, we had a creature, right? We had like a Bronto or something. Didn't we? Did we not have like a Bronto over here? I thought maybe it's one of the dead ones I was thinking of. All right, so which one is it? How do we make them attack? Um... So what do we do? Like that? Did I just do attack this target? Maybe? All right. So we've got all these like controls and commands and stuff. Oh yeah. Okay. So I sent the shadow main to go over there and, uh, and basically do that. And now I'm whistling it around. So, oh my God, we could like whistle it right through like a maze or something. Okay. So here's my thing, right? Chess. We could do chess in arc with these things. <laughs> we could legitimately do chess it's possible now i mean it probably was possible before but like if you had a giant board you know you could just have two people like other like opposite ends of the board and then you just have all your creatures as pawns like i'm i'm gonna make chess at some point it's gonna happen guys so yeah that's awesome i really like that there's a lot of things here to read so um i'll probably like look through this stuff and try and get a better uh, grip of 
how you actually do all of this. But um, yeah, I do. I really like that. I like that a lot. Such a great idea. It's also great for just organizing your creatures, not just for like attacking stuff and defending your base or whatever, but like actually fighting or like not actually like organizing your creatures and like moving them around. Like, you know, if you're trying to organize your breeders or something, you know, if you've got like a baby stuck in a creature, you could probably organize and like basically send that baby to move over here. So then it's not stuck inside that creature anymore or something. I don't know. There's so many possibilities and I think it's a really nice thing that they've added to arc and you can zoom in as well which is an interesting angle to look at hmm very odd well anyway yeah let's go ahead and hop out of that i want to see if this thing's actually decent like is it is it worth like fighting and attacking creatures with i kind of hope it is all right let's see what do we have we've got a couple things around here we got an equus um i guess i'll attack the equus all right let's see so we're in combat mode it's not a bad amount of damage. I mean, like, it's not insane. But then again, this isn't really an attacking and fighting creature. Uh, we kind of suck at hitting, though. Okay, there we go. We're not able to hit the, the Dodic for some reason. Okay, yeah. That's uh, that's not amazing. All right, let's see. Can we carry you or can we store you? Come back, sir. <laughs> it's like, that's so creepy looking. Like, come for me. <laughs> so weird i don't know i don't like that oh oh first person so cool looking oh yeah okay oh i like that a lot actually oh man all right i'm coming for you yeah it, these things are definitely not combat creatures i mean it's got the combat mode but like totally not worth it totally not would not bother we could do a sea attack though which is cool i don't remember doing that when i was checking out these creatures before let me run up to something that's not running away from me because I'm not able to actually even hit that thing. All right, let's hit this dude instead. Ah, we did the exact same amount of damage, so it's just kind of like the same hit. Huh. Well, I guess it kind of makes sense, but we are hitting down with two fists, so you'd think we'd do more damage. Hmm. Yeah. Definitely not useful in that way, but useful in other ways. I mean, traversing terrain, yes. You know, maybe even caving. Cause like you could just jump through all the creatures and like send your creatures around and stuff i think my thing is i'm gonna want to use one of these for the uh king titan fight i mean yeah i i think that's probably like the main thing i want to use it for besides that i really can't think of too many other things i'd want to use it on um do we sink or do we swim we do sink oh this is cool wait wait, wait. am i losing oxygen probably not right oh look at that that is awesome okay Let's go ahead and pop that back on. Very nice. Can we, uh, well, I guess we could jump, right? Yeah, we can jump out of the water. So it wouldn't be an issue. Let's do a weird jump like that. There we go. Just a little bit forward. There we go. Cool. <laughs> it wouldn't really be an issue to uh, get out of the water. Oh, we just punched the... <laughs> oh, we knocked the lights out of that fish. Boom, there goes another one. Oh, that was a two-point doe. That would have been good for taming things with, although we're probably not going to tame any more Shadow Mains considering. Um, yeah. I like this. I actually like running underwater. It's very odd. Can we can we harvest with it though? I feel like it would be really cool if we could harvest things. It can't. Damn, that would be cool if it like worked on nodes that you'd be able to like just pick up like that. I don't know. Damn. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get out of the water then. Boom. Oh yeah. Did I? Oh, that was amazing. I didn't even know this was up here. <laughs> okay. So what level are you there, buddy? I mean, I could probably try and kill something, but it's probably not really worth it. They don't level, obviously, because they're they're te they're technically like a vehicle and not a um and not a uh, you know a team. So they they come at like what level one? Does it even have a level? It does have a level, level one. So, oh, you know what? Hang on a second. Hang on just a second now. I'm very curious. Does mutagen work on these guys? I need to know. I need to know if mutagen works on them. That would be kind of amazing. Hang on. Let's, uh, oh, can I even get up here? Oh, hell yeah. We definitely can. Look at that. This freaking jumps, man. That is insane. Boom. Superhero. Superhero landing. I love it. All right. Let's, uh, let's jump back to base. Here we go. We're almost there. We got to jump far. In. Oh my. <gasps> I landed in the tree. <laughs> what? Oh man, this is awesome. All right, we're just, we're gonna be in the tree now. Can we break the tree? I don't think we can. <laughs> I mean, I'm not stuck, but like, I could just hide here. <laughs> this is amazing. All right, let's see. Let's do a little far jump there. There we go, cool. Uh, it doesn't look like you'd make that jump, but uh, we, we apparently do, so that's cool. 
Um, here's the thing though. They need to add a version of this. Oh, a little sin's in there with me. They need to add a version of this that has the uh, the phaser cannons on it with Helena to uh, to like jump into it or whatever. And maybe they can make that unlockable when you do the alpha boss fight. But like, I feel like we need that because that was so cool with like Helena on the top being like the projector or whatever. You know what? We actually, <laughs> we didn't even like replace these. Can we, can we place them straight from this guy? No, it doesn't look like we can. Can I place them when I'm on it though? There we go. Yeah, that does work. Nice. Okay. So what was I going to do? Mutagen, mutagen. I don't know where my mutagen is. So let's go ahead and just, um, what am I doing? There we go. Muta. Mutagen. There we go. Okay. We only got 20. Let me see. Do you boost with this? Cannot be used. Damn it. <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth a try. I mean, like, you know, could have, could have been a thing. All right. Let's see. So, uh, yeah, that is the, that is the XO mech. I, I love this thing. I really do. What else do we have? Do we even have anything else? I feel like we checked out most of it, except not that. All right. Wait. I need to know. Wait, I, I need to know before I know that. Can you cryopod them? But then also can I put it into the ball, which I probably can. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a cryopod. It's so funny, like I've only had the server online for like apparently like 10 days, 10 actual real life days. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I have them offline when I'm like, when I'm not online. So there you go. Oh, look, you can cryopod them. That's nice. I like that. All right, cool. It's, uh, I wonder what would happen if it had cryo sickness. Would it turn into the little ball again? Boom. All right. What? Oh, you, you didn't get cry. Oh, you know what? I have a mod on here that stops that. That makes sense. All right, never mind. Um. Ooh, what the hell? Okay. Anyway. Uh. Yeah. What were we gonna check out? This little hover sail thingy. Okay. Here we go. Boom. We have it. And does this require element or do I? Oh, I have that in my inventory, so it counts. All right. So first of all, this looks cool. I like this. Um, cool. All right, let's uh, let's fly around a little bit. So I have used these in the past. I've also done the mission that you need them for, but uh, it is still pretty cool to like check it out in game. There we go. We're doing a trick. Let's do another one. Boom, like that. There we go. We're doing the Superman. All right, let's see. Let's do that one. Boom. And then I like the back one actually because you do like a cool looking flip. Damn. All right, let's do that again. Oh, that's so awesome looking. Yeah, this one's cool too, but like this little flip's awesome. I feel like they probably just like took the animation for the flip and then gave that to us in the Summer Bash event. Oh, look at that. Hey, we got some boost. Hell yeah. So we're going a lot faster right now. So there is obviously, you know, purpose to using the, the tricks and stuff like that. You want to give yourself that speed boost. You want to be able to get a little bit faster. So that is awesome though. I love that a lot. Uh, we can also, I believe, pull out weapons on this thing. Oh, what the hell is that animation? That was weird. Um, let me see that again, actually. <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of odd. Oh, man. This is weird. This is really weird. <laughs> we can't go backwards on this thing, can we? Oh, hello. Um, I don't think so. So, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm, I just have my shotgun out and we're just, oh, we can't go into the third person. Interesting. So, yeah, we just have the shotgun out and we're just kind of chilling. Look at this. We can actually move around and, like, direct like through areas and stuff. So let's let's go this way. Let's go way far in this direction and then take a sharp turn back this way. Cool. Yeah, so uh, using weapons, it works. Um, probably gonna be kind of difficult to like actually hit things a little bit, but you could probably just hold it still and just like trank something. And then when they come for you, just like hit left or right or whatever. So that's pretty cool. All right, well, um, yeah, that is the hover sail. I do like this thing. I'll probably end up using it a little bit more. Uh, we do need to paint all of this stuff at some point. Wait, first of all, hang on. Can I can I just paint this thing up on the fly? Let's see, let's, uh, let's stop over here. And, oh, you know what? We got to check out um, passenger mode. Let's see. Boom. There we are. Look at, look at this. Amazing. Look at little Sin. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> oh, no, I'm crushing him. All right, let's pull out the shotgun. Boom! Oh man, that is what is with my arms right now. That's all sorts of messed up. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh my god, we're gonna burn this compy's face. Look at that. Boom. Um, so yeah, passenger mode's pretty cool. You can obviously like bring a friend around with you. Um, hey, hey, little compies. You guys, you guys like to be stunned, huh? It like completely instantly stuns uh, small creatures like that. Damn. All right, let's go ahead and kill them then. 
<laughs> That's awesome. So, uh, first of all, we can put this thing away, which I really like. Um, it is down on durability, though. Hmm. Okay, so we'll probably have to fix that at some point. Wait, no, that probably wouldn't work. I'm assuming that the mutagen wouldn't work on this thing either, right? I don't think that's technically a tame, though, is it? Eh, it probably is. Um, all right, so let's see. Can we paint you? No, we can't. Oh, we could probably paint you with a paintbrush, though, right? Let's see, do I still have that? Um, I do. Hell yeah. All right, let's see. So what is what? Uh, hmm. You know what? Let's just paint it fully black. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let me see. We got, like, a weird yellow on it, apparently. Okay, you look at this. This is a really weird glitch in Ark. Sometimes when you paint things too quick, it doesn't actually paint them. And then if I go back in, have we technically done all those? Sweet. All right, let's see. Uh, can we do it? Oh, we've got, like, a some strange... Oh, it's purple now. That's interesting. It's also kind of weird. Like, how is it purple now? I painted it black. Surely it should be black, right? Hmm. Weird. All right. Well, uh, yeah. That, uh, and we also got, like, strange colors on the sail as well. Very, very odd stuff. All right. Well, anyway, guys, that is going to be it for today. If you have enjoyed this video, go ahead. Do me a favor. Hit the like button. I'm trying to do tricks. There we go. If you guys want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And yeah, we'll be seeing you in the next one. Look at this. <laughs>